Okay guys, uh, so I'm back again. I uh, want to talk to you a little bit more about the control panels. So in our previous video, we talked about the uh, very basic standard, more of an older style control panel. I want you to look at this one. This one's more of a newer version of a control panel for a wall mounted radiographic machine. Uh, simply turn it on. There's always an on and off switch. You'll notice too that the only digital component is right here that reads out the exposure uh, pulses for your KV here. Uh, you have the adjustments where you can turn that up or you can turn it down as needed. Uh, but you'll notice there's a couple other components here. All right? One adjusts depending on which teeth and which type of x-ray you're wanting to take. Whether you want to take a bite wing, which is right here, you'll notice it's indicated by a green dot, or you can take a PA, either a molar or an, uh, uh, an anterior tooth, uh, and you just move the uh, push the button to move it around. You'll notice too that your um, exposure pulses are changing as well as we do that. All right? Over here too, you're noticing we can adjust it from an adult to a child. One thing I want you to pay attention to is watch the exposure rate. If we're taking a bite wing on an adult, it's 0.2. If we adjust that to a child, you'll notice it drops down to 0.1. It takes a lot less radiation uh, energy to uh, produce a quality image for a child than it does for an adult. All right, so I'm going to reset it back to an adult. Over here, you'll also notice the difference in, in, in x-rays. Uh, this would be more of a conventional film or even a PSP film uh, using the phosphorus plates or if you're using a digital uh, film here like the sensor. You can also use the PSPs for this one as well. But you'll notice too that the amount of energy needed to take a digital x-ray versus a conventional film is a lot lower, a lot like the adult for the child. So on an adult setting, should we take a digital x-ray? If we do that, you'll notice it drops down to 0.16 as well. So, um, so that's a that's a good um, um, indication that we are um, switching from different types of X-rays uh, and, and style of use of taking the X-ray as well as dropping and, and making it more uh, safe. Uh, for our patients following the LR principle. Uh, here you have the on and off uh, indicator. Uh, this would be an indicator for you to actually take and, and expose a radiograph. However, uh, as you can see in this room here, uh, the, the actual chair for the patient is right here. Uh, you would not want to stand there and push that button because then you're exposing yourself, okay? Um, the other thing I wanna point out too is this one's an old school one where it has a, 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 an exposure button, right? that allows you to, um, as you place the film, you can actually take this outside of the room and push and press and hold the button. Sometimes you can either give it to the patient as well, depending on the patient comfortability. Um, but again, you'll see a control panel, uh, you'll still see the same extension arm, and you'll see a variation of the tube head here. So I just wanted to show you another, another uh, version of a control panel. This one's more of a updated, more digital um, aspect view of a, of a control panel than the last one. Okay, thank you.